This video shows you how to find HCF. That means highest common factor. In other words, that means the biggest divisor of two or more numbers. To do this, I'm going to use prime factorization. For the first example, we're going to find the HCF of 12 and 20. The first thing I'm going to have to do is find the prime factors of both of these numbers. So I'm starting with 12. I can divide by 2. I can divide by 2 again. And I can divide by 3. Remember, I get to 1, I'm done. And there are my prime factors down the left-hand side. Now I go on and look at 20 and do the same thing. Well, 2 will go into 20, and 2 will go into 10, and 5 will go into 5, and I get to 1, I'm done. So there's my prime factors of 20. Now we're going to use some Venn diagrams to figure out HCF. And I always think of these as being cheaty Venn because I'm going to ignore some of the rules that I normally have for Venn diagrams, like being able to repeat myself. I'm okay to repeat myself in these. Okay, so how am I going to fill this in? Okay, I'm going to have a set for 12 and I'm going to have a set for 20. And I'm going to look down through my two lists and I'm going to see do they have any matches. So for example, there's a 2 in my list for 12 and there's a 2 in my list for 20. And if I've got a match, I'll cross them off and I'll put them in the intersection. Okay, let's look again. Any more matches? Oh yeah, I've got a 2 here. I've got a 2 here. Cross them off. Write them in the intersection. Okay, let's have a look. Anything else in common? The 3, mm, no 3 over here. So the 3 is just in the 12 set. So it's going to go in here. And the 5 is just in the 20 set, so it's going to go in here. OK, my cheaty Venn is complete. And the intersection is where I look for the highest common factor. And I'll get it by finding the product of the numbers that are in that section. So 2 by 2 is 4. So what's the story with that 4? That 4 is the biggest number that will go into both 12 and 20. That's why it's the highest common factor. OK, let's go again. So let's find the highest common factor of 30 and 42. If you feel confident that you know what's going on, you can try and do this yourself and you can pause the video and then play to see if you're doing it correctly. Let's see what's going to happen. OK, so let's get the prime factors of each of those numbers first. OK, so what goes into 30? Right, 2 will go in 15 times and then 3 will go into 15 5 times and then 5 will go into 5 just the once. I get to 1, I'm done. And there's my list of prime factors. So now I have a look at my 42. OK, 2 goes into 42 21 times and then 3 goes into 21 7 times and 7 goes into 7 once. If you're finding it hard to keep track of the primes that will go in, you can always make a little list of them, just like I did back in the prime factorization video, and you can go through them as a checklist to figure out what will go in to the number that you're dividing into. Anyway, for 42, I've got to 1, I'm done. There's my prime factors, and now off I go to use my cheaty Venn to get my HCF. Okay, so I've got my two sets, 30 and 42. Right, let's see what's happening. So I've got a match, twos there, they're a pair, they match up. In that goes. The threes there are a pair, they match up, in that goes. I've got a five here in the list for my 30, and there's no five matching over here, so that's just going to go into the 30 set. And I've got seven over here, there was no match in the previous number, so seven goes into the rest of the 42 set. And again then, don't forget, the HCF can be found by getting the product of those numbers in the intersection. So in this case, it'll be found by using two by three, so my HCF is six. What does that mean? 6 is the biggest number that will go into 30 and into 42. Okay, last example. So let's find the HCF of 18 and 54. And again, now, if you think that you know what you're at, pause the video, do it yourself, and then check and see if you get the right answer. Okay, so my first job is to get the prime factors of these two numbers. 2 goes into 18, 9 times. 3 goes into 9, giving me 3. 3 goes into 3 once. I get to 1, I'm done. There's my three prime factors of 18. So now I'm on to 54. 2 goes into 54, 27 times. And 3 goes into 27, 9 times. And 3 goes into 9, 3 times. And 3 goes into 3, just the once. I get to 1, I'm done. There's my list of prime factors. Right, okay, now, so I want to draw my Venns. Right, okay, so let's have a look and see what matches up. Well, I've got a 2 in the 18 set and a 2 in the 54. Right, that's a match. In they go. I've got a 3 here and a 3 here. That's a match. In they go. Oh, look, I've got another one. That three can match up with that three. That's a match. In they go. I have nothing else left in the 18 set, so nothing left to write in here. But I do have another three for the 54 set, so in that goes over there. And I'll make my HCF with the stuff in the intersection. I'll get the product of those numbers, two by three by three, and that makes 18. And I'm not surprised by that, because if I look back to my prime factors of 18, they were two by three by three. 
Sometimes that can happen. Sometimes one of the numbers that you start off with can be the highest common factor. And that's because 18 will go into 18 and it'll go into 54 as well. In fact, we can tell that 18 goes into 54 three times. Hmm, there you go. That's your HCF video. Again, if you need to rewatch it, that's absolutely grand. Remember to pause and work alongside and then play and see if you're correct.